yes this is a simple worship progression uh, i just want to show some simple simple calls you can use to add some some color and some emotion to our worship in the guitar uh this is a song the main trick here is to follow the the melody line of the of, of the of, of of the song and then add chords build the chords on top of that melody so the melody goes something like this so that's the first half of that song now i'm playing the key of d uh, I think the key of D just fits well for me for this particular um way, the way I wanna play it. the key of D is a is, is a nice key. So this is my first chord D. So so that's the first chord. So the first three chords is D Do A do here, I have a do here. Sorry, I can also do my do here. Yeah, if so you know different ways of playing the the chords, you can always uh, what do you call it? Invert the chords and you, to suit the the melody uh, you're playing. So for this the particular song, the way it starts on this. It starts on the do. Do so do. The melody is do re mi, but the chord is do. I don't know how to explain it. Do, re, on the do, you play the the one chord. On the re, you cannot play the five chord. Now I'm playing my five like this. It's the key of D. I'm here on the I'm here on this. I'm barring um, string two, three, and four. That's basically the A position you have over here, which I've moved over here. So. fret 9 on the G and fret 9 on the D chord
sudu And the next melody is So you can use a chord five again, but uh, uh, you, you can use um, you can use like a diminished uh, chord here, which gives you a more uh, a more solemn sound. So this is the main melody you're looking for. And this is how you can form a diminished chord. This position here. So I'm playing on the fifth string, fifth fret of the high E. Then I'm playing the seventh fret of the B and the fifth of the G. So again, what would you call this chord? Uh, so you have you have the notes. The notes are A. You have A. You have F sharp, and you have C. C, F sharp, and A. You come to the way. Yeah, come to the way here. You can say it's a, um, it's, it's um, uh, the flats, the flats, uh, the flat seven. Again, let's try that bit again. Cause this movement is used a lot in in almost all the uh, all the songs, all the Ghana highlights gospel songs. Even you can even use it for faster songs. You know. string so so you now you form another inversion of the of the of the of the chord come to the uh, so another ray then you do like a two five one to finish 
but instead of doing a, a minor two you could do, you do a major two and you turn into a seven so instead of the e minor you play an e an e7 just gives it sounds a bit uh, gives it a bit more color because you're following the melody line the melody line is actually on the so on the D the D will become the this uh, you build on top of that a E major chord a normal E major chord like here you build on top you build an E major chord on top of the of the D note here so you have your D you have an E7 chord it's a 2 5 1 you go to an A7 A7 you simply play here um, second fret of the B second fret of the of the D and then you finish here you finish on the on the D suspended So that's that's that bit. You can add uh to be honest, I think that's um that's the chords that I I think that's enough for that chord because once you know these chords uh, you have you'll be able to play almost all the highlight songs or especially the the worship songs these are the chords they use the only thing the main thing is the melody if you know the melody once you know the melody then you know you know the chords depending on how the song is going you know this one this on this one i'll play a do I play a five chord or I play a diminished chord or so and so. So the main thing is using the melody to help you guide you to find the chords which you can use to uh, to select the chords which will be appropriate for the for the songs you're playing. So let's start. Let me just play it through again. <laughs> The second part of the melody is something like this. first bit so you follow the melody like now 
this one, if you use the diminished sound, it sounds more solemn. You could use the chord 5, which is the um, A. But nah, it's the, it doesn't really sound uh, that kind of way. So if you use this chord here, it's all about the melody. come to the four the four chord now for this one I'm gonna select the G chord the G I'm playing like this remember we're in the key of D so all things all these things should uh, tie up this is the G that it's like the D chord it's like the D chord here, but you have moved all the way here. Back to the to the one chord do. I think the the half. Uh, what do you call it? the flat? The flat seven, they call it tall, so let's call it tall. Tall fa do. Do to re. Remember that re? Then the other re. This time you can use instead of the do like this. You can make, you can make it an, a minor chord. So it becomes a six. So that'll be a B minor. So la so Two into a major uh, dominant seven. Now well, let's see what happens. You make the two uh, instead of a dominant seven and a, a normal uh, minor seven. That's a two five one. I think it works better with the dominant seven. You can also play that chord here. So <clears throat> you miss out a note, but you can play it. I'm playing here on the on a on the seventh fret of the of the A string, I'm playing on the sixth fret of the of the D string and the seventh fret of the G string. Oh, I hope. So again, it's still about the melody. Um, if you know this, this, um, yeah, 
so that's that's what I want to share. Uh, I think um, if there's any questions or anything, I'm happy to expand if anything didn't make sense. Uh, yeah. So yeah, thanks once again.